So what does it take to get me excited, you say? Badass access points. Oh, yeah. Stay tuned. Hey guys, today we have the Ubiquity Networks Unify Access Point. It's an AC access point that has some great features and it is enterprise quality. Uh, got this off the recommendations from Tech Syndicate. So check them out if you haven't already. It's a Raise the World Tech Syndicate. I'll put a, well, in my channel, there's a, a follow over there, but I'll put their uh, YouTube page down below and their uh, their website down below. But Wendell recommends this. They use it there. Uh, Linus actually picked one up and he likes it. And that's pretty much enough recommendation for me to pick one up too. The idea here is I'm personally tired of these all-in-one router switch access points. Um, I want something that's more stable that I can, you know, add extra nodes to and get better coverage in my house that I can also configure and keep an eye on independently without using, um, you know, some cobbled together software that's trying to do, you know, the router, the switch and the access point this way. When you're managing your access points, you're just managing your access points. When you're managing your router, which I'm actually building a router, I'm gonna use uh, PFSense. You're just managing your router and uh, probably pick up like an integrate, uh, enterprise grade switch at some point. Uh, might go with the Ubiquity one, might go with something else. I haven't quite decided yet. Uh, the nice thing is if you go with the Ubiquity one or one that does do uh, power over uh, networking, so I have POE, I think, power over Ethernet, then you'll see that you won't need an adapter that comes in this case. So quickly on the back, we basically just have, um, you know, some of their software here. Um, the nice thing is you can actually see in the software kind of what your coverage map looks like. And then that's about it. It really doesn't need to say a lot because it's just kind of badass. The one thing I will point out, which they put the sticker on upside down for, is that they've shipped a million units. And if you got the golden unit, I don't know what happens, but it says, do you have the golden unit? So we're going to see because I haven't opened this yet. I'm going to guess I don't. So little things. On, even just on the plain brown box that show you that this is higher quality than normal. You actually have the tested date, the engineer's name, and what OS, if it's pass or fail. So, you know, still made in China, which, I mean, everything is anymore. Um, but it's definitely, you know, the quality control on this is going to be a little higher than your average uh, access point. And of course, the cost on this is quite a bit higher than your average access point. Oh, I don't have the gold one. So sad. Not really, but so nice little guy. We have a mounting plate, a mounting plate, a manual, mounting hardware, and this is the interesting part. So <clears throat> we'll talk about the power first. So the nice thing with this is you don't plug it directly into a power outlet. You actually use power over ethernet. So you can put this anywhere. The LAN goes in here, the powered port comes out here. So say you plug this in at your switch, which is what I'm gonna do, right? I'm gonna put a router off of my router. I'm gonna run directly into this port and then I'll run my home run to wherever it's gonna go in the house off of the powered port. So then I have a dedicated power active channel for just this router or just this access point off of my router. 
and that'll give me a little bit more control and be able to manipulate my environment a little better. Um, like throttling my wife watching Netflix. No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. But the cool thing here is you don't plug this in. You know, it's enterprise. It's just like any um, switch in a building you've pro or access point in a building you've seen where they're just sitting in the ceiling. Those aren't, those are power over ethernet too. So the nice thing here is when you install this, it's a very clean looking application wherever in your house you decide to put it. So we'll get rid of that for a second go over the mounting hardware. Well, let's go over the little book. So what I love with this is, <laughs> this is basically just how to mount it, which I find funny. Um, there, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hundred percent sure that they're just of the opinion that if you need any kind of user manual support, you're just going to go to their website. So in the mounting packets here, so this is for, just want to make sure here, this is the wall mount. So it would screw in to the wall like this and the access point just hangs on here or it can go into the ceiling and the access point just clips in. Now, if you're doing a drop ceiling, you want the metal bracket and the metal bracket goes on top of the drop ceiling. This goes on the bottom of the drop ceiling and it just screws together. So that's why in here you have some long screws with some lock nuts. So that's one packet. That's if you're doing the, the drop ceiling mount because you know most businesses have drop ceilings. And then you have your drywall mounts with shorter screws if you're doing a wall or a ceiling mount, say in a home. So this is actually going to go, I'm lucky enough that the crawl space in my attic happens to go over a hallway closet. Um, I'm actually going to put this in the hallway closet because it, it's actually almost in the middle of the house. Um, and no matter where in our house I put this, you're going to, I'm going to wind up going through, uh, you know, some amount of walls and heat duct and metal. So that's why I went with this because if I put this on the main floor and all of a sudden, you know, the, the upstairs will probably get really good reception because it'll be between the main floor and the upstairs and the main floor will probably get pretty good reception, but the basement is probably going to take a hit. So then I can see you know, test this out, see if I have enough coverage in the basement because I tend to be hardwired down here most of the time. And if I don't have enough coverage in the basement, I can put one of these in the basement level as well. So, and that'll actually, you know, increase the, the range of the main floor. And I'm not sure if they have the, the, the firmware update for this yet that does the seamless handoff. The non-AC version has seamless handoff. This one doesn't yet, which is why I'm just gonna try one to start. So if I need to go down that route, by then they should have the firmware done. And if I need to add a second one, then it shouldn't be a big deal. So on the back here, all you get is a main and a secondary. Now, this doesn't mean that you can team. It will not use both of them at the same time. It just means that you have a backup. So if you need a redundant environment where you are, um, you can run, you know, like say you'd have two routers with two switches doing independent uh, lines to here so that if a router or an uplink or something went down that you would still have connectivity. Uh, that doesn't matter to me. And if my router goes down, I'm screwed. So I will just be plugging one in. So needless to say, there's other than that, you know, the software I will get into once I get it set up and start, um, you know, playing around with it. Uh, the one thing you do want to make sure is when you ceiling mount this, you do want to make sure that you um, get in the cavity here because otherwise you have to take off the little thing and run it in sideways and I don't know, it just won't look as good. So that's about it. This is the Unify AC access point from Ubiquity. I'll let you guys know how it does. There's a lot of metal like ducting in the middle of our house. And that tends to have been the problem with like my Asus router, uh, even though it's, you know, on the main floor in the middle of the house. Uh, I just, it, it does an okay job, but I just, it's not the quality of connection that I want. 
I feel like sometimes it kind of, you know, gives up the ghost. So I was willing to put some money into an AC access point that uh, we're probably going to take with us to the next house we live in someday. I mean, this will last me until AC's a slow protocol. So if you look at it that way, uh, it's a definitely a good value and it looks nice. So this is Tim for Timmy Tech TV. Guys, please like this video. Please subscribe and we'll see you next time.